Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Monster76, and today I'm going to do a review for you guys on the life proof case for the iPhone 4 and 4S. This is right the iPhone 4 and 4S. So, yeah, this case is really, really nice. I really like it. Uh, except for, like, I'll show you go over the cons and pros and cons. So, first of all, it's like waterproof, dirt proof, snow proof, and shock proof. It has pictures up here water, like dirt, snow, and shock, like falling. So, yeah. So I like the like the packaging is really nice how they got really like lots of detail on here. The back just has like more features like how it is dirt proof and how it's waterproof and how it's like like how it protects it. So yeah, so this little flap thing you just open it. More info on the case right here, guys. More like info, and this is the case itself. The, like you guys can see it. And yeah, let me get into this. So it just opens from the bottom like this, and you guys can just like take the case out. On the sides it does have more like pictures on this case. So yeah, here's the case itself, I'm gonna put that aside. This is, this is stuck on the back of the case just to show you guys like be cautious, like like make sure you read, the, watch the video on how to install the case and everything. Make sure you guys know how to do it. And it comes with one of this. So inside the case you get a cleaning cloth because your device has to be clean when it's in this case. The back of the case and a little instruction manual and stuff like that. And here's the front of the case. It does come in two colors, white or black. So if you have a black iPhone, you can see the white like it'll look like a white iPhone. So I'll just I'll show you guys that with a black and white. So here's my iPhone 4S. I'm just going to stick it in here. So make sure you guys go like either take this off, like it protects the headset, headphone jack. So make sure you guys take that off, or you guys can make sure like put it in like properly. So I just like to put button side in first and just push down. And this is what it looks like through the screen. This is a white iPhone inside here. And now I'll do the install with a black iPhone just to show you guys how it a black iPhone would look in a white case. Here's a black iPhone. So I'm just gonna put it in here. And I'm just gonna put the back. The back snaps on like you guys have to like push really hard to snap it on. Like that. Like that. When you guys don't hear any more clicks, you guys know it's snapped on. And as you guys can see the bottom dock protector, it's really uh recessed recessed in there. So like no water is gonna go in there, and it's like some leather material, so it closes. You know there's no water is gonna go in there, uh, or like dirt or mud or whatever. And this is what a black iPhone looks like in here. I didn't clean the screen or anything, but yeah, it looks like a white iPhone. You can't tell the difference except for around the camera hole. It's a little bit darker than a normal white iPhone. So yeah, the back is plastic, and the. The sides like rubber, like this gray part right here is like rubber. And then inside it's like a clear screen, like you know on the OtterBox cases. It's like that. It's like a screen protector. So yeah, and then on the bottom, you guys can't see like when I'm trying to use Siri on this or like talk into the mic, it does have a little bit of difficulty getting through because it's like, you know, it tries to protect it so no water gets in. And the speakers, I don't really have, like there's nothing different with the speakers. They work fine. And the camera, I've had like a little bit of issue when taking pictures, but not with flash. Like flash works like they have like this little black thing dividing it so it doesn't affect the camera at all. But otherwise, like the pictures are sometimes a little bit blurry because it's got like this screen thing on it. And yeah, same with the front facing camera. It's a little bit like downgraded a little bit. But when you're talking on the phone and everything, it works fine. You can talk, you can hear. And yeah, so the top button is like really easy to access it's right there you just touch it like that and it turns on and off the volume buttons not that difficult same thing this one it's like uh... they made it so it's like you guys just have to touch it a little bit and it like takes it off vibrate like just touch and it's on off vibrate like touch it's on vibrate so it's not that difficult and yeah like i really like this case but when i'm typing i feel myself like missing some letters because i have to push a little bit harder and when you're watching like a video, sometimes you get glare on it, and I don't like that either. And yeah, that's basically the cons and the pros about this case. And another con is like this. 
like this is in here when it's like when you're like let's say you're swimming or skiing or like any or like on a boat if, and then you fall in the water this will protect it as you guys can see but the only problem is I've had trouble putting like Dr. Dre's or something in these and I I really like Dr. Dre's so as you guys can see it's really deep deep down inside so yeah troubles with that but they do include this so if you guys have trouble with that you guys can just plug this in tighten it yeah it makes it all waterproof so you guys can have like any headphone you want and there's it's, it's like extension cord and they do give you an extra one of these plugs like on the side just in case you lose it yeah just in case you lose it so you lose it so you get two and like a place to store it when you're listening to music and yeah so this can be like in the water while you have headphones sticking out and your iPhone will be perfectly in, like working and yeah the install isn't like as like really bad I really, it's like compared to like OtterBox cases and everything it's really 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 easy but like taking it off it's really difficult like you have to like open that up and then docking yeah docking my dock does it won't work with any dock except for the Apple connectors that's the only one that'll work with this so no third party adapters and yeah so I'll show you guys uh, how to remove this case I have this Pokemon coin, which I want to use to remove. So you do need a coin, and you just put it in here, and you just like kind of tilt it upwards like that, and then you guys just follow along all the sides until you get halfway, and then you can just pry it open with your hands. And yeah, voila! There you your iPhone. So here, I'm just gonna put this back. So out of like protection-wise, I'd rate this a 10 out of 10, and like. Other like usage wise, like for a person like a normal person who doesn't do extreme sports, I do not recommend this case. Unless you're really protected about your iPhone and all you do is call on it.